Hello everyone, this is Charlie and I am the Children's Librarian here at the Parkersburg and Wynn County Public Library and I am here to talk about our fun stuffed animal sleepover we had here at the library last Friday. Kids got to bring one of their favorite stuffed animals. We had a bedtime themed story time and then they left their stuffed animals here for a sleepover overnight. And I'm telling you, these animals got into some trouble and we are going to talk about it. So let's get started. To kick off this event, we had to start, of course, with a bedtime themed story time. No bedtime is complete without reading some of our favorite stories. So we read Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late by Mo Willems and Good Night, Good Night by Sandra Boynton. Next, we had to sing some of our favorite songs to get the animals ready for bed. The picture you're seeing here is a glimpse at us singing zoom 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 we're going to the moon and the kids had so much fun with this song um we talk about zooming to the moon and we blast off and the kids get to throw their animals into the air it was a great time here is another picture of us singing that song and i decided to include this one because you can actually see some of our stuffed animals hit the ceiling and i really appreciate this child right here with the giant unicorn trying her hardest to fling that thing into the air. She did a great job. So after we read our bedtime stories and sang songs with our animals, the kids got to decorate a sleeping bag for their animal to sleep in while they were here at the library. And once they made those sleeping bags, the kids got to bring their animals back into this room and tuck them in to bed. So even though the animals got tucked into bed, they were not quite ready to sleep yet. So they asked if they could read one more story. And of course, I had to say yes, because I am always so excited to read stories with friends at the library. So I chose this book. It's called The Book With No Pictures, and it is by B.J. Novak. It's a really silly story. Now, after reading this story is when the chaos really started to happen. All of the animals divided into little groups and they just started running all over the library doing silly things. The first group I'm going to talk about lovingly named themselves the Dude Crew. So this right here is the Dude Crew. So the first thing the Dude Crew decided to do was they made their very own fishing rods and went fishing in our fish tank. Fortunately, they did not catch any fish. I was kind of concerned for the health and well-being of our fishies, but they did have a good time trying. After that, these animals, they decided, okay, we've had some fun. We're going to relax, play some games. You can see here Squirtle and Celie are paired up playing chess against Pete the Cat. We've got Tom Nook and Foxy playing. And then here in the bottom, we had a pretty crazy checkers game going on between these Sonic characters here. They got so irritated at one point, they flipped the board. It was a very, very intense game. Next, this group decided that they were going to wreak some havoc on the library. So they got some of our markers and wrote on the bathroom mirror. They wrote, dude, crew was here. Hee <laughs> hee. I had a lot of fun cleaning that one up. Next, they decided that they were going to read a scary story. You can see little Seely here is on top of the book reading the story. It's called In the Haunted House. It was too scary for me, so I couldn't hang out for very long, but they seemed to have a really good time. So next, this group decided they were going to take some of our larger library books and turn them into sleds and sled down the staircase. So that's what you're seeing here is all of these animals zooming down the staircase. They were going so fast it was hard to keep up. We actually even had one little buddy, this Sonic guy right here, that fell off of his sled but he was okay. He got back up and kept sledding down the steps. And then the last thing that they did was they got stuck in the Lego case. They were trying to get in here to mess with the kids creations they had made and the lid was so heavy it fell down on them and I'm telling you I was tempted for a second to leave them in there because they had just 
been going crazy all over the library, but I was nice and I decided to let them out so they could have more fun. Now the next group that we had named themselves the Pink Patrol. They went with this name because as you can see, most of these animals here had pink on them. Now our dinosaur friend, he didn't have any pink, but when they took a vote, he was outnumbered. He ended up being okay with the name though. All right, so the first thing that the Pink Patrol decided to do was to build a book fort. I was actually quite impressed with their building skills. This fort was so structurally sound that some of the animals could actually climb on top of it. See a little piggy clear on top there? Now we did have a little bit of a snag. Our large horn unicorn here actually got stuck under the bookshelf. You can kind of see in the top left that picture. So I had to yank and pull her out because she kind of got stuck. This group then decided that they were going to play a fun game of hide and seek. You can see large horn here counting and then all of the other animals peeking out from around the bookshelves, hiding behind books. It was a very fun game. Next, they decided to find our fridge, the staff fridge. We have a unicorn up here at the top. I'm telling you, she drank that entire can of Coke and our piggy was eating ranch. This dinosaur right here was drinking Dennis's water. You do not drink Dennis's water. And then here at the bottom, we've got some animals eating blueberries and our unicorn is drinking some water. So they definitely found some goodies in the fridge. Then these animals decided that they wanted to have a lightsaber battle, but unfortunately in the library I didn't have many lightsabers on hand, so I gave them some shelf markers instead. Now I'll tell you, this group on the left, small but mighty, you think that they would have lost to the group with the large horn unicorn, but I'm telling you, they didn't. They didn't lose. They won their lightsaber battle. I was so impressed. Next, they decided that they were going to go on a cart ride around the library. As you can see here, they've made their way clear to our front door. And Large Horn Unicorn, of course, was able to push the animals around. Here on the right, you can see that she kind of threw a little bit of a fit. She was getting really tired. She threw her head back. She's like, I don't think I can make it. But she ended up completing the cart ride, and the animals had a lot of fun. Now, on their way back around the library from their cart ride, they saw the staff mailboxes. Dun, dun, dun. And, of course, they decided they had to mess with those. So they were mixing all of our mail up. Large Horn Unicorn found a wig in one of our mailboxes, so she had to put that on. So I'm still trying to get all this mail sorted out that they messed up. So our next group decided to call themselves the Friday Friends. They went with Friday Friends because all of the owners of these animals actually come to our Friday story time. Friday Friends, they were so fast, I couldn't even catch them. They ran out to the desk to our book display and flipped all of the books upside down. Next, they decided that they would go and work on our puzzle. As you can see, they actually have made a lot of progress. There's not very much left of this puzzle to get finished. Good job, guys. <clears throat> now, like I said, this group, all of their owners come to story time. So, of course, they had to sneak into our story time closet. Over here on the left, you can see our little puppy here is playing in our sensory bin. We've got a unicorn playing with our bubbles. Abby the bunny is playing with our song cube that we use in story time. We've got a Triceratops playing with some Play-Doh. Squid over here is playing the Maraca Egg Shaker. And then our Koala Bear is playing with the Daubers for Dauber Art. Now this is really bad. The animals stole my keys and tried to get into the director's office, my boss's office. So as you can see here, they've taken my keys and they're working together as a team to try and get that door open. And then if all matters couldn't get any worse, they stole the director cart. As you can see here, it says director's cart only. And they were riding around on it. Oh my goodness. 
So next, these animals decided that they needed a coffee break, so they came into the staff break room and had some coffee. You can see we have a puppy over here that was really enjoying the coffee. Her head is clear into that coffee cup. So after their coffee break, all of the animals were hyper. So they decided to get into some of our craft supplies and have a yarn party. You can see they've got yarn all over the place. They've used it to make hair for themselves. It was super silly. All right, so this next group decided to name themselves the Stuffy Stars. They went with this name because, as you can see, we have a couple famous animals in this group. We have Dumbo and Minnie Mouse. So the Stuffy Stars, I was really impressed with them. They decided to relax and play on the computer. As you can see on the left, they even made a picture that says, We love the library. How sweet is that? Next, they decided that they were going to check out some books. So you can see here they were working together as a team to make sure that the computer worked and they got the scanner out. They found a couple really neat books about seasons. And then you can see Dumbo over here. Dumbo was missing his mom, so he had to get on the phone and call her really quick. And then we have Bunny over here working the computer for us. So like I said, I was so proud of these animals checking out books, playing on the computer. But then... Oh yes, you can see, they stole my phone. So the animals stole my phone and they were passing it around and taking selfies. Here are the rest of the selfies that this group took. They actually turned out pretty well. I, I was pretty impressed with their selfie skills. Next, this group decided that they were going to have an arm wrestling contest. It was pretty intense. Up here in the top left, we have Bunny versus Leonardo the Giraffe. And it was a pretty even battle between those two. Now over here, we have Honey the Bunny and Mrs. Monkey. And I'm telling you, Mrs. Monkey is a lot stronger than you'd think. She ended up beating Honey the Bunny. And then we have Dumbo versus Minnie Mouse. And at the bottom, you can see here, we have our puppy and our owl. And they decided that it probably wasn't fair for them to have an arm wrestling contest since owl has wings instead. So they had a really intense staring contest instead. Now this group decided to make even more of a mess and they took over a whole bookshelf. They knocked all the books down and were hanging out on the shelf. They climbed up there all by themselves. And then they discovered that we had a book drop. So they all decided to climb up on into the book drop and hang out there for a little bit. Our last group named themselves the Roartastic Raiders. To start off their night, the Roartastic Raiders decided to sneak into the children's office. I was thinking, what are they going to get into back here? What they found in the office was actually, they found a kiddie pool, some different balls, so they literally made their own ball pit. I thought this was such a fun idea. After that, they decided that they were going to draw and color together. As you can see, they are quite the artists. We have some flowers, we have some rainbows, hearts, smiley faces, suns. They did a great job coloring. Oh my goodness, here it is. So this group, after coloring, decided that they were going to trash the bathroom. I know. The two animals up on the baby changing table, they were the leaders of the pack here giving directions and orders to the others down below. And they had toilet paper and paper towels all over the place. They TP'd the bathroom. And then the worst of all, I am so embarrassed to even show you this. These animals caught me while I was taking a little snooze. I was so tired. I just thought I'd shut my eyes for a couple minutes. And what do you know? They give me a mustache and a unibrow. Oh my goodness. After that, all of the animals had had so much fun, they decided to work together and take over the bookmobile. That's right, the bookmobile, which is our bus 
that has a library on the inside. Let's take a look. So of course we needed someone to actually drive the bookmobile and um, fortunately for this group of stuffed animals there was only one animal that could actually reach the gas pedal that is Longhorn here. She is currently in this picture getting ready to back out of the garage. So now we're going to take a look at what the animals were doing inside the bookmobile. As you can see on the left here we have little Tom Nook sneaking into the money drawer. That is something Tom Nook would do for sure. And then we have Large Horn driving of course and then on the right we have Seely learning how to use the scanner. Then we had some Sonic characters here. They found books about themselves which I thought was really cool but then they were arguing over who was better. And then on the right here, this group, they thought that maybe in the bookmobile book drop, there might be some super special secret books. So they were trying to get down in there to that book drop. This next group, they were just along for the ride. They were excited to be there. So we have Lucy the dog over here on the left. She's trying to find a dog man book. And then we have a bunny and Leonardo the draft. They're hanging out looking at the chapter books. And Dumbo is trying to get the computer started so that the animals could check out books if they wanted to check anything out. Now this group, they also were enjoying the ride. We have a little koala over here that decided, you know what, I think I'm just going to ride upside down. Why not? And then we have a couple here looking at a Sparkleton chapter book. There's a huge group of Minnie Mouse, Mrs. Monkey, Owl, and Doggy all looking at picture books down there. And then on the right, I don't know how this draft got clear up there, but she literally climbed clear to the top of this bookshelf. And then we have Bunny looking at a cookbook over here too. And then this is the last group on the bookmobile. We have Bulbasaur being an acrobat. I was quite impressed that Bulbasaur could stay on that post like that. And we have a bunch of animals here looking at books, enjoying the ride on the bookmobile. After the animals took their ride around town in the bookmobile, they decided, you know what? it's almost time for our owners to pick us up. So they came back into the library, they put their sleeping bags away, and were sitting in the chairs ready to be picked up by their owners. Here at the library, we had so much fun hosting these animals for a sleepover. After spending the entire night looking at books, playing together, these animals went home excited to read even more with their owners. So we'll look forward to seeing their owners coming back here to get books to read with their stuffed animal friends for sure. Thank you so much for watching and as always thanks for visiting your library.